नेशनल ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन मिशन को केंद्रीय मंत्रिमंडल ने मंजूरी दी है ऑन फोर्थ जनवरी द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट अप्रूव्ड 19,744 crores for the National Green Hydrogen Mission to create export opportunities, decarbonize energy production and develop local manufacturing capabilities. The idea is to bring down the production cost from 350 to 400 rupees per kg to about 100 rupees per kg. But what is green hydrogen after all? Hydrogen gas can be used as a fuel in transportation, power generation and industrial activities without the release of greenhouse gases when burned. An electrolyzer is used to split water into its basic components since hydrogen in itself isn't abundant enough to be used. Green hydrogen is produced using renewable energy such as wind or solar power. There are two other categories blue which is generated from fossil fuels with carbon capture and storage options and grey produced from fossil fuels and most common today after the oil price hikes of the 1970s japan's honda and toyota and south korea's hyundai were the first ones to commercialize the technology but on a small scale if green hydrogen is commercialized on a large scale it can decarbonize sectors like iron steel chemicals and transportation Additionally, renewable energy that cannot be stored can be redirected to produce green hydrogen. EVs also use hydrogen to generate power. A device called a fuel cell stack uses hydrogen to power the electric motor, while the electrical chemical reaction in FC EVs converts almost 60% of the electrical energy to power the vehicle. The combustion in petrol and diesel vehicles is only able to convert about 20% energy stored in the fuel but according to a study published in nature energy green hydrogen would likely supply less than 1% of final energy globally by 2035 the european union would reach the 1% mark by 2030 as energy prices are soaring market ramp up of electrolyzers is a huge challenge because electrolysis capacity is still tiny compared to where we need to be in 2050 for net zero emission scenarios electrolyzers also have expensive metals like platinum which increase the cost of production the ministry of new and renewable energy wants to develop green hydrogen production capacity of at least 5 million metric tons per annum with renewable energy capacity addition of 125 gigawatts by 2030 in april 2022 Oil India Limited commissioned India's first 99.99% pure green hydrogen plant in Jorhat, Assam. US-based Omium International has commissioned India's first green hydrogen factory in Karnataka. As part of the strategic interventions for green hydrogen transition program, domestic manufacturing of electrolyzers and the production of green hydrogen will be promoted to reduce fossil fuel imports and reduce annual greenhouse gas emissions by 2030